Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jesse Colombo, Cyber Trading University's instructor. And I'm excited to have Anka Metcalf on our closing bell today. She's from Trade Out Loud. And she's going to be teaching us how to swing trade into profits, trading just 10 minutes per day. So she trades for a fund called the Synergy Fund. And she's going to be showing you the exact strategies that she uses to trade for consistent gains for that fund. And she's going to be showing her simple step-by-step -step trading process to show you when to buy, where to place protective stops, and how and where to take profits without giving them back. So if you apply correctly, you can use the system over and over just like Anka does to earn consistent profits. So thank you so much, Anka, for coming on. I'm really looking forward to your presentation. Thank you so much, Jesse, and thank you so much, Cyber Trading University, for having me here uh, today. And uh, uh, thank you so much, guys, for uh, staying late. It's 4.30. Market closed at 4, so you're still here. So that is a good sign because continuing education, this is what's all about and time, in the, uh, time spent in uh, the market and time spent with traders to share uh, who share their uh, experiences and I know when I started trading it was uh, it was great to talk to other traders and see what uh, what what else they're doing uh, for their uh, success so thank you so much everybody so today like Jesse mentioned I will be talking to you about uh, how to swing trade into profits trading just 10 minutes a day and this is something that uh, a lot of you, uh, you know, might, might be intrigued. I mean, how can you trade for profits only 10 minutes a day? It is possible. And I, I'm the real proof here that uh, it is possible. Um, this is a system that is for uh, traders that have a full-time job and don't have a lot of time to allocate to trading. Uh, for traders that have part-time jobs but have awkward uh, awkward working hours and cannot be in front of the market uh, all the time. And, oh, and most of all, this is for traders that want to unleash themselves from, uh, from uh, staring at the computer all the time. Uh, I call them lazy traders and I like to call myself a lazy trader as well because more and more I have shifted towards swing trading. Uh, when I first started my career, um, I was day trading and I have been, uh, and I still day trade now, but uh, very, very little compared to uh, how active I was a few years ago. Um, I've day traded for about nine years and for the last uh, two years, two and a half years, I have transitioned more and more into swing trading. All right. So um, let's go to the next slide. All right. So. Before we even begin, I want to uh, I want you guys to take a quick minute and read through this uh, legal risk disclaimer. And basically, what we're saying here is that everything that I'm going to be sharing with you today is for educational purpose only. I'm not registered nor licensed, so guys, if you really need financial advice, consult your financial planner, advisor, or broker. Okay, so a little bit about myself. Um, I am a professional independent trader. Uh, I do trade stocks, futures, and currencies. I have been trading them full time for 10 years now. I'm also the founder of CEO of TradeOutLaw.com, which is a day trading uh, and investing uh, education firm located in Detroit, Michigan. We offer a lot of uh, uh, education uh, classes for uh, stocks, equities. For, I'm sorry, for equities, futures and for uh, Forex, uh, for day trading, swing trading, and investing as well. We do have some other uh, personalized products as well. Uh, I have over a decade of banking experience prior to becoming a, a professional independent trader, so I do come from a heavy background uh, experience. I'm certified from numerous financial institutions throughout Europe and U.S., uh, I've uh, I've also I run a managed a managed accounts program uh, for a group of high net worth clients, and uh, over time I have a design. I mean, for the last four years since I got into education, I am a, the designer of a proprietary trading system that is uh, based on price support resistance, correlated correlated with strict trigger times. Uh, in the market. So what I mean by trigger times in the market is, is that if you, even if you're a day trader, not only a swing trader, there are only four precise times that you can take really high odds trades. And uh, in my classes, I explained those uh, those times. So you don't waste your time 
staring at screens, even if you're a day trader. Also correlated with, uh, with charts and perfect um, uh, synchrony between, between charts and a strict set of trading rules amongst which I will share some of the most important uh, um, some of the most important trading rules for swing trading uh, that I apply. Um, I, we offer a lot of on-site uh, classes. This is me right here uh, teaching a class. And we do offer a lot of online webinars uh, and uh, classes as well. Uh, we do all, all, Usually we do have uh, small classes and uh, about 20 to 25 people. Whether we do it live or online, I like to keep it small so we get all the questions answered. And you, you get that personalized feeling when you, when you enter the class and when you, you know, I have a lot of time to allocate to each and every single trader because everybody's different and everybody needs different kind of attention. Uh, so like I've mentioned, we do offer a lot of education. Uh, we do have uh, uh, education for equities, forex, and futures as well, day trading and uh, swing trading and active investing. Uh, I do personally offer coaching uh, for all these assets and also uh, I also offer live trading within live market hours. So if you want some to trade besides me during live market hours, whether it is futures, forex, or equities, uh, please contact me. Uh, also mentoring classes for those that want to fast track their, tr their trading to the next level. Uh, also custom trading plans. I know that uh, you hear a lot that um, all the traders need to have a trading plan. Well, guess what? Everybody's been telling you that you need a trading plan. Everybody tells you how to build one. But I don't know. Have you guys found any trading plan that is like already, already made, like ready made, ready to apply? You read it and you apply it. I don't know. I haven't. But I have created three of these. One for equities, one for forex, and one for futures. And oh, for day trading and for uh, swing trading and investing as well. So I do have my own trading plan that I share with you guys. All right. So right now you're probably going to go, okay, so why should I listen to her? And why should I listen to Trade Out Loud? And what's different about Trade Out Loud? Well, when we first started about four years ago, uh, we wanted to um, uh, excel at our education, at our education part. But of course, we wanted to show people what our education can do for you. So therefore, we've hired an external company, a third company that would track our education system and that would uh, would pair it with our trading results. Uh, and this is what it, it came out uh, it came out to. Uh, we beat the S&P 500 for the fourth year in a row last year. Uh, we ended the tracking at, uh, last year, uh, December 31st. As you can see right here, this is from their platform. We ha I have a winning percentage of 77% for total trades, and these are swing trades, by the way, uh, total trades of 113. This is the average trade gain. It was 2.7% uh, per trade, 26.10. Uh, and this is the average realized in uh, 365 days and 5.42 and 90 day performance. But what I want to share with you is that these results came in on December 5th. So we still had the end of December. And let me tell you guys, this is my favorite quarter to trade, whether it is. And I know for some of us, it means it's Thanksgiving. It's time to relax and wind down. Not for me. I consider the last three months of the year the most important of 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 any uh, type of uh, uh, type of quarter. It is the most important quarter uh, to uh, uh, to uh, to trade. We have a lot of events that we can trade. Uh, of course, there are uh, there is um, um, uh, the trading around the holidays is the best when volume subsides a little bit. Uh, we do, uh, the markets tend to develop trading, uh, trending, uh, trading patterns at which you can capitalize super, super, super easily. Um, a great example is last year, take a look at a chart last year around Thanksgiving, I call it carnicopia trading. Um, it, it's just pick your trade, it was beautiful. Um, you know, look at retailers, those are some of my favorite, uh, uh, one of my favorite sectors to trade around that 
holiday and of course the Cyber Monday and all that uh, all that time frame is beautiful around Christmas again you get a Christmas rally and then towards the end of the year let's not forget about window dressing and the January effect that takes into place so we ended the year last year with over 37.25 percent up for for the entire year and a winning betting average of over 85 percent and the average gain was 3.5 percent these are some of the trades that we uh, that I took within their system, and their system was based on an hundred thousand dollars buying power. So these are the results that uh, were obtained. All right. So now you got to know a little bit about myself. Uh, I want to know a little about you guys. So I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, how many of you in here are day trading? Uh, Money M, this is for swing trading. You can use the same methodology for day trading, and I do have a lot of examples for day trading as well. Perfect. So there are a lot of people in here that says, me, 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 me. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Mark, Marvin, Rick, Trudy, Trudy, swing trading. Love you, Trudy. <laughs> okay, I love swing trading as well. Alex is just getting started. This is all brand new to you. That's perfect. You are in the right spot. Okay, Mariola. Perfect. Michael. Okay, so day trading, we're going to talk a little bit about the difference about day trading and swing trading, but now I want to know how many of you in here are swing trading and active swing traders, and do you do it 10 minutes or less per day, or does it take you more? But be very honest. Okay, Edward, yes, so you're a swing trader. Okay, Sam. Okay, perfect. All right. So there are more day traders in here. Okay, Michael. All right. Okay. So, um, again, with 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 not a lot of swing traders in here, I gather. Okay, a lot of you are day traders, and let me tell you something. Swing trading can improve your day trading results because you're going to apply a little bit more rules to swing trading that are going to help you. And, you know, the fact that you're going to watch different time frames, higher time frames, when you watch higher time frames and trade higher time frames, you have higher, um, higher odds of winning at this game. And why? Because when you trade support resistance and when you trade um, uh, supply and demand uh, on a larger time frame chart they're likely to hold 80 percent more than a lower time frame chart so support on an hourly chart or even a 30 minute chart or a 15 minute chart is going to hold more it's going to have more influence on the trading game itself than a one minute chart or a two minute chart so actually, if you're new to trading, and if there would be, if somebody would ask me, okay, what shall I start with day trading? I want to get into trading. Should I start with day trading or swing trading? I would definitely tell you that you should start with swing trading and then transition to day trading. It would be so much easier for you because you would have, um, you would have uh, formed a bias by that time. You would know. Uh, a lot of a lot about support resistance and technical analysis how, how to apply it on the higher time frame charts and um, therefore know what uh, the bias is going to be on the smaller time frame charts we're going to talk a little bit more about that along this presentation um, how many of you would like to know more about swing trading and I guess uh, the majority of you because obviously you're here right and Last but not least, how many of you have heard me speak before? I've recognized a few names here. Okay. Hey, Brian, Edward, Rick, Jean. Hi. Okay, Jean, no. Okay, Jean, first time. Okay, Alex, what is the dollar amount I need to have to make decent profits? Well, it, dep it depends. You know, you can you can email me and uh, we could have a discussion over the phone, and I could tell you. It depends on what decent profit is for everybody. 
So uh, we could definitely talk, Alex, and I'll let you know my, my take on it. Anytime, anytime. All right, let's talk about today's agenda. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about how to accurately spot opportunities in any market condition. Very tough market out there, very tough market, but still, there are a lot of diamonds in the rough, and I'm going to show you some examples today. And we're going to talk about intelligence entries, stops, and targets. All right, so let's get started. So what is swing trading? For those of you that are new in here, that are new to trading in general, or that are new just to swing trading and are already day trading, it is the sweet spot between day trading and position trading. Investing, right? It is the niche. It's exactly in the middle, right? So day trading uh, holds position, you, uh, you um, uh, enter a trade, you exit the trade by the end of that specific day. With position trading, you hold a position like in your 401k for months, for years, right? For, with swing trading, you only hold it for a limited time. You only hold it for a limited time. You find a perfect entry, you find that swing. You don't even have to capture the whole swing. We're going to talk about that. You only have to capture a portion of it. On the first sign of reversal, you're out, you're done. You're going to wait for the reversal to occur, find, uh, you know, um, create another uh, entry opportunity, and then, uh, and then enter again. Okay? It is safe. It is very, very safe. All right? Um, it generates high prob uh, probability trades, high probability trades, and profitability. Okay, and it offers the best chances of success. Why does it offer high prob uh, probability trades? Because it is trading on a higher time frame. Because support is likely to hold, resistance is high is, is likely to hold. These areas are critical. Okay, stocks and ETFs, or if you're trading forex currency pairs, if you're trading futures, okay. I'm trading futures as well. There are a lot of, uh, I don't know if there are um, uh, futures traders in here. There are tax advantages, and I love trading and swing trading futures. Uh, I trade future indices. I'm not getting into corn and oil and oil, uh, cocoa and all that stuff, but I trade future indices, okay? Um, it offers high probability, uh, probability because uh, the critical areas in the market, the support resistance areas, have high odds of holding, right? Um, and it offers best chances of success because it offers that follow through. It offer, it holds the stop. You're not going to be as uh, you're not going to get stopped out as often as you might get day trading. Okay, I'm a day trader now, and I could tell you, I could tell you. And by you know, bottom line, you're going to make more money swing trading than day trading. And I know day trading is super super profitable, but for someone that you know wants to have a life and doesn't want to be stuck in front of the computer. Swing trading is a perfect alternative to day trading. It's a simple strategy where you enter a trade when a price breaks above a pullback low or breaks above a consolidation. Consolidations are and bases are my favorite, favorite, favorite elements to trade, my favorite setups. And the market this year has been very, very, very favorable uh, for this setup. Sam, you trade ESNYM. Love, love, love. Okay, traders use the strategies with stocks and ETFs, but actually you can use it on anything, on ESYM, Sam. You could use it on euro dollar and actually the, uh, on currencies. Actually, euro dollar had a great consolidation, breakout now. It's on its way to very, very close, getting very, very close to resistance area at four, uh, one point, uh, 1450. Um, it, it, it offers great, great opportunities for any type of market, whether you're an option trader, anything, okay? Swing trading is not at all about trying to capture the entire trend, okay? So we're not going because, you know, we don't have a crystal ball saying that, okay, wow, this is the bottom. This is the absolute bottom. We're going to get it right here, okay? No, it's about capturing part or most of the trend, it's about finding the best possible entry for that very strong stock or ETF or for that very weak stock or ETF. If you have a retail account, of course, you can short. If you're trading your IRA account, then you go long. All right? So you can take 
take it on both sides of the trade, short or long, okay? So again, it is about finding the best possible entry opportunity for profiting from most of the stocks up move, and again, down move as well, by not giving away profits. Because swing trading is finding the perfect entry, riding it all the way to the reversal point and out, okay? Reversal point and out, you're done, okay? You're done. You're gonna wait. You're not gonna live through pullbacks. You're not an investor, okay? You're not gonna live through earnings. You're not gonna live through surprises. You're not gonna live through uh, all the major, you know, major economic events, or you're not gonna live through a geopolitical context. No. So swing trading is capturing a portion of that trend, that powerful trend, that pop up, okay? This is what I call smart trading and not hard trading. Okay, and I know it's a little bit of homework involved, and that's only during the weekend. Okay, that's only during the weekend where you're going to scan for stocks or ETFs, or if you're. Uh, but for for those of you guys that are um, uh, that are uh, uh, trading futures, it's easy, right? Because you only have ESYM, you have uh, Nasdaq, uh, you have the S&P 500, and you have YM and oil. Okay. So you have four things that basically, and these are my four focus um, 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 uh, future elements that, that I trade, okay? The stock indices and oil, okay? Um, and so there's a little bit of homework involved in the weekend, not much, about an hour. I, I have to be honest. So I scour, I start with the Dow list and I go through all the Dow stocks and then I take the first 30 or 40 stocks that are most powerful in the S&P and the weakest 30 or 40 from the S&P. That's my scan, okay? And you're going to find probably 5 to 10 amazing opportunities out there, okay? Amazing opportunity. You can either place your order like I do, place in a limit order, okay? When it takes, what, two minutes to place or let's say five minutes to place five orders, right? Uh, and then what I do, I set alerts on my cell phone or on my tablet. I'm not glued to the uh, to the computer. If it triggers, I'm fine. Okay, it triggers. I'm a okay. I'm having lunch with my girlfriends, right? And it, the stock triggered. Fine. Okay, I look at it. Okay, when you, I also set alerts, you know, to play stops. I also set alerts at certain price points, at resistance points. Let's say if I'm taking a stop long. Okay, what I usually do, I am always in front of the computer um, uh, for about 10 minutes a day. And that is to look at the stock. And usually I do this between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Because I like to watch the open, you know, all that fleecing for, from the open. And things settle down at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. is the time. So you can actually arrange your, uh, you, you can set your alert five minutes prior to 10 a.m. Or 10 minutes prior to 10 a.m. So you can watch and see if you need to move your trailing stops because that's the most active part of the market is gap traders and so. And that's when all the policing um, happens in the market. Other than that, the market just sets its trend, okay? So that's the perfect time. That's your 10 minute a day. That is your 10 minute a day at 10 to, uh, uh, at 10 before, uh, 10 minutes before, uh, uh, five minutes before 10 a.m. and five minutes after 10 a.m. It could take less than that. It can take actually less than that. If you're only in five positions and you have nothing to trail, you're done. It's just a glimpse and you're done. A glimpse, you just turn on your, uh, uh, your platform on your phone or your tablet or online or what have you. You look at it and if nothing happens, you're done. So it's even less than 10 minutes a day, okay? Um, <clears throat> focus time frame, like I've mentioned, uh, one hour chart and a daily chart, one hour chart and the daily chart. Usually for stocks that run really, really fast and really, really high, uh, you're going to, and, and, uh, you know, like last week, uh, I had VeriSign, um, and, um, I, I had an entry off 30 minute chart. You could have gotten at the one hour chart as well, or the 15 minute chart. You could even zoom in. When you have really powerful trends, and VeriSign that had a breakout of 
uh, it was a multi-year breakout onto the weekly chart. Super powerful. Zoom in. Lower time frame. Just get in. Find the perfect entry and ride it higher. It was an amazing trade. And it was an amazing trade. This is the perfect solution, like I've mentioned, for those of you, for traders and investors who focus their trading on larger time frames and look to hold positions from anywhere to about two days uh, to uh, even a couple of weeks or more. And why do I say that? Because the, usually with swing trading, you hold positions for about two days. I had, I had uh, actually trades that I was in for a couple of hours and they've reached like three targets. They weren't like clim climactic. But they only were like in my career, <laughs> in my trading career, probably it probably happened like two or three times. Okay. They're not often, but they happen. And you get out, right? Um, it, because they do go climactic. Um, uh, money, do you sell? Uh, do you sell? Do you switch to a uh, 10 minute time frame? No, I don't switch the 10 minute time frame. What I do is um, if I see a reversal and if my target is reached, if my target is reached, I up my trailing stop. That's what I do. I never take myself out of a trade ever, 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 ever. I let the market take me out. I never take myself out of a good trade. I don't want to cut my winnings, okay? Sit tight, especially if you're in a, uh, in a winning trade. Sit tight, you know, bring your stop higher, Bring your stop higher, but to make sure that where you bring your stop, you have a consistent support level. It's not going to be arbitrary. It's not going to be, you know, just because you don't feel like having it lower. No, it's not about feel. It's about location. It's just like real estate, location, 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 okay? You got to make sure that when you choose a trailing stop, it is a pivot because pivot usually hold through pullbacks. And it should be, so if you enter a trade on the daily chart, once it reaches target one, you're going to trail it on the daily chart. When it starts moving higher, you're going to zoom in and you're going to move to, to your, you're going to move your trailing method to the one hour chart. Okay. Once your target two is set, usually you get three targets, right? So once your target two is met and hit, you can even zoom into the 15 minute chart. Okay, zoom into a, a lower time frame and start, but that is that once third target is reached. Okay, all right, that's the secret to consistent profits and not giving any type of profit back because that's key. You gotta match your perfect entry with your uh, consistent trailing method and. Um, by that, you actually put a lot of money in your pocket, okay? This is the only recipe for success, okay? Having a good entry, having a good stop, having a good trailing method, and take your profit, okay? So usually I say, okay, because I started from this. Um, so you get in a trade. You could, stay, you, you could stay in a trade for one or two days, or you could stay a week, or... Guess what? You could even find yourself in the same trade because, you know, uh, nothing violates your stop. You're not taking yourself out of a trade because you're going to wait for the market to take you out, right? Because you're respecting the market. You have to respect, you have to have a great respect for the market and its personality, okay? And the market will respect you, okay? But sometimes, when you're, when the market is into, uh, let's say the major uh, market indices, the Q's, the SPIs, diamonds, all right, Dow, uh, they're in a sideways pattern, and so is your stock, okay? Because they're in sync. You have to trade in sync with the major market indices. This is another secret, okay? You have to trade in sync. So if the market is strong, you're not going to short, or if the market is weak, you're not going to go long, okay? Because you don't have, you're not going to have that power of follow through that you uh, that you get when the market is on your side. So again, going back, you find you may find yourself sitting in a trade for a week or even more for weeks. Okay, so you're going to transition from a swing trade to a core trade, but that is an active core trade. That is an active position trade. Okay, because you're still trailing it. The stock has done nothing wrong and hasn't violated your stock, and therefore. 
you're going to still be in that trade, okay? So again, this style is perfect for those of you guys that have busy schedules, that are working, um, you know, that have full-time jobs, you know, that have other commitments throughout the day, and you are, your, your day is fully booked. Or for part-time traders that trade really awkward hours and cannot always be in front of the market when the market is open. Um, and also, I call myself, yes, I know a lazy trader. I love to play with my time, okay? And I love to do fun stuff. So I have to be very honest. Even when I was day trading, I was never a scalper. I was never a scalper because I needed, you know, a little bit more time. So when, when, when I day trade, I trend trade. So my zip code is the 15-minute chart and the 5-minute chart. That, when I day trade, you're going to find me on the 5-minute. My footprints are going to be on the 5-minute and the 15-minute chart. Okay. Um, so the key to swing trading is to know how to enter during these upswings, right? So determining the exact location, okay, determining the exact location. I will answer the questions. I promise you guys, I will answer your questions, all of your questions uh, at the end of the session, okay? I just want to make sure that I get through the whole presentation. Okay, so... Um, you want to enter those upswings. You want to find those perfect entries, even upswings or downswings, right? And you want to know how to identify that sweet spot you go, because this is what's all about, that sweet spot, that entry, okay, that buy pocket, that entry setup. And grab the profits before the market turn, turns around, right? Because what goes up must go down, right? Markets are always moving in cycles, and there's there are always going to be a lot of opportunities, okay? Not a lot of opportunities for a sideways market when swing trading, because swing trading is about following a trend. Whether it's higher or lower, it really doesn't matter because we're gonna make, get we're gonna make money regardless whether the market is going up or uh, higher or lower. But in a sideways market, market that is definitely not, 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 not a swing traders market. Okay, so stay away from that market. That's the time to take, you know, to take a little bit of time away from the market, review some education. I always review education. Always, you know, try to learn what's new, what's new in the HFT world, and and so on. You know, every single time there is always something to learn because the markets are always evolving, always evolving. Professional traders use the strategy to bank huge profits. And uh, I would say not only professional traders, but institutional traders as well. I have traded with institutional traders. I have learned from institutional traders. And uh, I, I was an institutional trader. Uh, so um, what I mean by that is that back in the day, we were more focused on fundamental elements rather than, um, rather than technicals. Uh, and um, I, I have to say that uh, right now, more and more hedge funds uh, are uh, approaching swing trading as their major uh, as their major um, uh, method of trading. Okay, uh, before that, it was it, it it was investing, right? It was position trading. And we would only trade on the weekly chart and the monthly chart. And we would live through all the cycles until we kind of like woke up and we've decided, not that we've decided, we've realized that by looking at the technical chart, you get a better interpretation of what's happening now in the market. And this didn't happen overnight. This happened as more and more high frequency computers started trading the market. Did you know that over 70% of the market volume is formed by high-frequency trading computers and only 30% by traders? Only 30% of humans trade the market. 70% are HFTs. And that's, the, that's one of the reasons why we need to respect these high-frequency trading computers. And I hear, you know, you, you turn on CNBC, you see all these uh, negative things about oh HFTs and things like that, but hey, there are a lot of things that you can learn from these high frequency trading computers. First of all, they don't think, they act right. They don't. They have a trading plan and they apply it day to day. Not all their trades are winning trades, but guess what? The majority of their trades, they come ahead. Uh, on the majority of their trades, they come ahead. Okay. 
Um, and uh, again, there, uh, there are a lot of algorithms. I'm going to uh, show you one of the algorithms that a lot of high-frequency trading computers based uh, based on, especially for those of you that are day traders. And for those of you that want to focus and want to zoom in and want to take advantage of swing trading with an entry, even on the 15-minute chart. Um, so let's recap the most important elements of the trade. So like I've mentioned, you have the entry. And it's one of the most important elements because you have to pinpoint, laser pinpoint the entry. If you don't have a good entry with a good stop, the risk is that the stock is running higher, you're ending up chasing the trade, and you're cutting your profit. Okay, that's the only thing. If the stock has passed through your entry, beyond your entry, leave it alone. Okay, let it go, let it go. Even by 10 cents, let it go. And even if you're a swing trader, let it go. Do not take it. You either take it at the trigger price or you don't take it at all and wait for the second opportunity on the same stock or a different stock. The other element is the stop. The stop has always have to be placed under a critical support area, okay? So it has to be under a pivot, never under a candlestick, never a, a determined amount of money saying, okay, on this trade, I'm only going to raise $100 or $200. And no, you're going to position size exactly up to that stop level that has to be below the support area. And guess what? If it's at a whole number level, give it another four, five, seven cents. If you're a swing trader, if you're a, uh, if you're a day trader, never place your stops at whole numbers, okay? Okay, I'm going to put my stop at $7.00. No, you're going to place it at least three cents below because all the day traders are going to place their stops under one penny or under two, uh, two cents. You're going to give it a little bit of more room because there are going to be those high-frequency trading computers that go zoom, take you out, and they go back up, okay? The third um, important element is determining a target, okay? Uh, determining a target is very, very, very important. Uh, and you can do that by looking at the chart any time of uh, any, any, uh, any time frame. So if you're a, a day trader uh, and you're trading the two-minute chart, you're going to look at the two-minute chart uh, support resistance areas to determine uh, to determine your target. So let's say if you take a trade on the two-minute chart and if you have a, a resistance area above your entry price, that's going to be your first target because stocks and ETFs and any other asset that you may trade are more likely to continue into that area, consolidate, make a decision, pull back a little bit. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they just consolidate at that area, eat out throughout that area, get ready to pop higher or pull back. So targets are very important. Another element with targets, especially when trading today's market, a lot of stocks are uh, at all-time highs. I know they've had a pull back throughout these uh, uh, summer months, uh, but they're trading at all-time highs. Look at Nike. Okay, this is a perfect example. And by the way, Nike is a perfect example of a stock that any pullback is viable on that one. It has a projection of $170. If the market should continue higher, we're going to talk a little bit about that chart later on. Uh, but targets are very important. So what happens if you don't have any prior resistance areas? What happens? The, you know, the sky's the limit, I know. And I would love it to see it at $300, right? I would get in it right now. But when you don't have when you don't have a prior resistance area, that's when you get to apply another set of technical analysis tools, um, and those are Fibonacci price projections. Those are going; they're super simple to use, and they're going to give you the projected area where other institutional traders are going to look to get out. Okay, so that's why targets are very, very important. You have to know, and you have to have all this baggage of technical analysis information in order to know, and this is very important for targets, for setting targets, very important. Uh, it, it helps you with your trailing. It helps you with your target. It, it helps you to know, okay, if I'm going to get in Nike now, let's say with this risk, this is my entry, and this is my stop, and this is my risk. Who is going to guarantee me that I'm going to get that three R's or four R's, okay, into the game? Fibonacci, okay? Fibonacci projections are going to tell you that, are going to 
uh, are going to show you on the chart the exact levels where institutional traders will look and high frequency trading computers that are their uh, that their algorithm algorithms are based uh, some algorithms are based on uh, on Fibonacci uh, price uh, projection or extension okay uh, or retracement um, these are all elements that are going to help you calculate your entry your stop and your target the other important element is trailing and within trailing there are a lot of things to talk about here well first of all let me tell you that not one stock is the same and you cannot really apply the same trailing method for all of the stocks uh, because you know stocks are like people you know people have different personalities and stocks have different personalities now there's a stock let's say like sprint and there's a stock like Amazon. You're not going to trail them the same way, even though the same principles apply, and you're always going to trail based on, okay, target one, zoom in one time frame. Target two, zoom in to the second time frame. Target three, zoom in to the third time frame and under support. But they have different kind of personalities, and they, tr they trade differently. And that's why you need a little bit of time and experience in front of the market in order to determine uh, and to have a good handle and grip on your trailing method because this is one of the most important elements of the trade trailing because this, any you know and you don't if you don't have a good trailing method in place a winning stock can end up um, can end up a loser right because you don't you're not gonna know where where to take profits okay let's talk about the entry okay so today i've decided to elaborate more on that entry on this entries because entries are very important so what is a buy pocket buy pocket is that formation that v formation or u formation or even a consolidation breakout formation it's a pocket it's like it's exactly like a pocket it's also called a setup okay it's an entry point with a potential uh, within a potential leading stocks consolidation or reversal from correction okay we're gonna get to charts as well um, when utilized as an entry within a consolidation or reversal from correction it provides an early mover and that's a great advantage for us traders okay a buy pocket is actually a continuation of a buy point from a leading stock that is already firmly formed in a strong uptrend. This offers both a way to get on board strong leaders. Please remember the term, strong leaders. Remember, you're going to trade strong stocks in a strong market. When you scan, this is one of the secrets, you're going to scan for relative strength stocks in a strong market because those stocks that outperform the market have higher odds of follow through higher and accelerating higher especially in the last three months of the year and you're going to scan if the market is going to break down if the market is going to reverse and it's going to let's say set a downtrend okay it violates all the downtrends okay it violates all the support areas is really going to enter into a severe downtrend that's the time when you're going to scan for relative weak stocks stocks that are really weak stocks that are really really poor performers because those are going to have higher odds of accelerating lower faster than the market because this is key you don't want to get your money stuck in one stock that doesn't move you want to accelerate and move and this is the one thing that you need to do when you uh, when you scan and when you get into a trade so again strong leaders in a strong market you want to get on board a very strong stock in a strong market okay um, so this offers both a way to get on board strong leaders later on in their uptrends as well as extremely reliable and powerful tool for adding to positions initiated earlier when a stock was still within or just emerging from its original consolidation or reversal from the correction pattern right because when you have a trending stock here's the secret you when you're a swing trader you enter your uh you enter a position within the first 
trigger within that buy pocket. I'm going to show you exactly what to look for exactly on the chart. Okay. Um, as the stock moves higher and when it pulls back, okay, you have a choice here of trailing. You either get out and wait for the reversal and wait for the next pocket to form to get back in. Or if the stock is really strong and is just pushing higher, reversing, pulling back just very, very slightly. These are the two different trailing methods that you can apply, okay, depending on your comfort level. And again, depending on per your personality, because trading is super personal, and trading has to be, um, uh, you have to be very comfortable with your money and with your risk and with your method, okay, uh, in order to achieve results and in order to remain calm, okay. Uh, and, and believe me, I've had, I've had times when I was like, at the beginning of my trading career, when I was uh, going like, oh my God, that was my trading plan. Oh my God, what now? Oh no, oh no, you know? So you have to have a very, very well-defined plan. The second thing that, <laughs> um, the, second the second trailing method is, um, is you get in, you get out, all right, and wait for another setup to form and back in. But if you decide to stay in through the pullback, on a lower time frame, so you take your trade on the uh, daily chart and you start, you reach target one and then you move to the one hour chart and you have a slight pullback, you are not going to get out, okay? If that's your preferred trailing method, you're not going to get out. But what you can do is with the banked money within that portion of the trade, within that upswing, you're going to reinvest it in the next buy pocket, okay? You're going to raise the stop for the whole position to the next level, and you're going to let it trade uh, from there on. Okay? Let's take a look at some charts here. Okay, here we have uh, here we have IWM. This is a daily chart. But again, this can be any time frame. It could be the one-minute chart. It can be a five-minute chart. You can apply it whether you're day trading or swing trading or even position trading. If you're position trading, your zip code is going to be on the weekly chart and the monthly chart. Day trading, daily chart, and hourly chart, and um, a sw I'm sorry, swing trading, daily chart, and hourly chart, and day trading from one minute chart all the way to 15 minute chart. So here it is, IWM, look at the buy pocket. It, it can either be a V formation, so remember this V formation. Now remember, the, uh, the lines that I have on the chart, this is the blue line is the 20 period moving average, and the red line right here is the 200 period moving average, and these are moving averages that I use not that I love moving averages because I really don't love moving averages. Uh, I just consider them spaghettis on the line. But guess what? A lot of traders use moving averages. And because a lot of traders use moving averages, even, institution, even institutional traders now use moving averages. And these are the moving averages that institutional traders use as well. Okay? So... Here is the V pocket formation. Look at the breakout bar moving higher and the trade is setting higher. You, you notice the difference between the price of the uh, bottom of the candlesticks and the moving average getting extended. All right. First sign of reversal if you're a swing trader. Okay. First sign of reversal right here or here. Okay. And you're done. You're done. You're out. If you want to live through this, you're going to live through the pullback. So this is your second choice of trailing. You're going to lift through the pullback, and your whole stop is going to be raised all the way into the, this area. It's probably going to be 120 area. And you're going to get another buy pocket. With the money that you have made within this beautiful upswing, you're going to reinvest it as another trade right here. You took 500 shares here. You're going to take another 500 shares here. And here is the pop-up the next day. You're going to have a beautiful, this is a trigger point, okay? This is a trigger point. You see this green candlestick that trades above the prior candle, the previous uh, prior candle, three to four cents higher. You That is the location where you can actually buy the next day uh, uh, from your buy. Look at the beautiful breakout pattern continuing higher reversal right here reversal is trading below these two candlesticks you have another v formation right here you're not going to short it is extended from the 20 period moving average and then the the stock falls but you're out even if you want to live and let's say you forgot to put in a trail stop okay you were so busy you were on vacation you didn't have internet access guess what 
you can trail it and make sure don't panic when you see red do not panic professional trade i mean institutional traders i don't know what other professional traders are doing but institutional traders they never get out on red we're not stupid okay we're not we never panic and we never get out on red but we get out on green okay in an upswing we place our stops right here under this pivot. This is our next stop. So we up all our stop all the way to this level, going higher, continuing high, higher. Okay. Uh, this is another example. It's BA. Uh, this is not a buy pocket because price is residing below the 20 period moving average. I'm going to share with you tonight my seven, uh, my seven secrets to uh, an entry. You can write them down. Price breaking above. You could see it breaking above right here above uh, uh, above uh, the 20 period moving average. This would have been a good opportunity right here, this consolidation breakout. This is the stop right here below the support level. This is the breakout zone right here. And you would have had a nice run into the 135 area resistance area it formed. You could actually get out at the first sign of reversal when the red candlestick, red candlestick trades below the low of the previous bar. Or you could stay in. Okay, you can stay in. Again, you lost your internet connection. Don't panic. Don't sell on red. No, 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 no. Place your stop. Wait for the reversal. This is called a flex stop. This is called an emergency stop. Don't get out on red. Okay. So here's the flex stop right. Uh, here's the flex stop right here, which is higher than the uh, than the previous stop. And guess what? The stock is just getting ready for a textbook uh, emerge to a higher target because we have a nice crossover here and not only that but we have a nice consolidation congestion area this is odd number one the second odd in our favor is the fact that the support area that has formed here is higher than the previous low and this support area right here is higher than the previous low so therefore you have the magic formula for a confirmed uptrend in ba breakout right here continuing higher you look at the consolidation and look at this beautiful beautiful pattern emerging here it's pressing against this resistance area with a beautiful beautiful breakout towards higher target and when it pulls back it pulls back to prior resistance which translates into support in current uh in current uh price okay another buy opportunity and we have been talking about buy pockets again buy pocket forming here here i have drawn two uh, to support and resistance lines as well. These are very important technical analysis. This is the ascending support trend line and the ascending resistance trend line. And for those of you, these are training wheels for those of you that are beginner traders. Uh, and uh, you always buy at support and sell at reversal. Or if you are comfortable with swing trading and giving back and living through, uh, this is more of an investing type. It is active, but in a very strong market, let's say you really don't want to get out, this is the way to do it. You raise your stop every single time you have a higher pivot, okay? If it violates this this pivot right here, let's say if the price went low and below this line right here, you would be out at this price level. But again, my preferred method of trading is getting in, reversal, out, done. I'm waiting for the, another, for the next opportunity, buy, reversal out another opportunity buy i have the reversal i'm out right here okay i now you see this is not a buy pocket and why because it is extended from my trend line and because it has respected my trend line i'm gonna wait okay so probably the market was not in uh, uh you know the market was sideways again uh, there are different market conditions that could have favored this pullback right here and it, again it pulled back to support trend line Beautiful upswing, reversal, out, another opportunity, and so on. For those of you that are day traders, uh, Mark, I don't use uh, SARS. Um, yes, based on money, based on candlestick uh, signals. Uh, many, I look at the prior resistance areas that are on the left-hand side of the chart, whether you're a day trader or swing trader or an investor. 
For those of you that are day traders, remember I've mentioned high frequency trading computers. Now, one uh, one algorithm, uh, one other algorithm besides Fibonacci that um, is used in uh, in um, initiating entries on those algos uh, is uh, are in fact pivot point that these are pivot points I'm not going to go into pivot points because we obviously don't have the time we have like four more minutes left uh, but again these are uh, these are areas of consolidation and buy pockets that are forming at exact these uh, a very very important locations a very important location in the market so you can find these on the five minute chart uh, you can find them anywhere Again, another example of prices following the moving averages. You can see how the price is accelerating here. And once you get to have parallel moving averages, and again, if you're a day trader, uh, that's why I put this uh, moving average on. I use the 10 exponential moving average. It's very, very good, for, especially for those of you that uh, trade smaller time frames from one minute to about 15 minutes. Parallel moving averages means a lot of acceleration that is going to happen, and any pullback is viable. All right, so footprints that you need to follow here. Institutional buying creates price breakouts. So remember, institutional buying occurs during strong uptrends, areas of accumulation, and we might, uh, you know, a few more weeks in the making, and we are, uh, we might just get started. The buy pocket provide a clear viable point and also offer high odds for follow through. Buy pockets also provide a tool for buying leading stocks and ETFs as they continue higher within a strong trend. And here are my seven rule guides. So if you're a day trader or a swing trader, remember, look for relative high volume stocks at least one million before open uh, after open i'm sorry and look for an increased volume compared to the previous five to ten days if you're a swing trader stick to stocks that have a pattern of beating earnings never stick in a stock during earning season uh, dur during like one day or one day after earnings always get out before earnings and get back in if the setup uh is right uh the next day uh, also, look for fundamentally strong and solid stocks. Buy pockets are often formed from base breakouts patterns and also from gap patterns on the pullbacks. Buy pocket location, preferably above the moving averages, but if the volume is increasing and at least a few days in advance, then you can consider the area as a buy zone. Prior, um, a past prior support or resistance areas, remember, translate to the areas of influence zones for future price action. Never forget that, uh, especially in trailing. And do not buy any pocket, any any setup, or any stock if the stock, and this is for swing trading only, if it's into a severe downtrend, six or more months, and wait for the stock to bottom out, wait for the ma magic formula for the reversal. Stay away from stocks and ETFs that have been trading below the 89 and 200 period moving average if you're a swing trader or investor. And sharp pivots that have an increased risk of failure than rounded bottoms or consolidations. This is another example of a consolidation waiting to happen. This is an older chart from, uh, from April. But these are the types of patterns that you need to look for because these are, go back on the chart and look what happened. We had huge profits, huge, huge profits. This is a buy point in the making. Buy pocket in the making. This is another example, Tiva, daily chart, breakout, beautiful emerging higher, okay? This is another entry on sprint, consolidation here. You can see the price residing below the 20 period moving average, and once it triggered above this consolidation area, it just popped higher, formed another uh, uh, base before continuing higher. This is current chart of Nike. Nike trading today at $125.98. Look at the buy opportunities right here. Consolidation. I remember I took this. I was in here until this point right here at about 112. Sharp pullback. Consolidation again. And we're now into the same consolidation right here. So watch out, guys. This is going to be a nice one. Uh, CVX, for those of you guys that are um, that are interested in swing trading, I give a lot of swing trading ideas for free. I have a newsletter that is delivered for free. Uh, all you have to do is go to tradeoutloud.com. You're going to have a pop-up window. You could actually go to the Facebook page. Um, um, oh, that pop-up window. Okay, so you, you can fill your name, your address, and every Monday morning at 8 a.m., you're going to receive this email uh, from uh, Trade Out Loud with the market outlook, with the earnings, major economic releases, and um, swing trade ideas for the following week. Um, always, give, um, always give ideas. 
Um, if you want to check out uh, my prior newsletters, you they are on Facebook. We had 10 trades called last Monday, killer trades. Go check them out, facebook.com slash trade out loud. Um, again, another, uh, this was this was our stock right here uh, from last call. Uh, Nike was as well. Uh, this was call right here, this breakout. Look at the beautiful, into the $90. Our first target was about $87. Remember, stay in touch with us. This is how you get a hold of us, tradeallout.com. Remember that pop-up window, fill in your data to receive our emails. Uh, also, email me at info at tradeallout.com if you have any kind of question, uh, facebook.com slash tradeallout and Twitter on comment cap. And this Saturday, uh, I have a special class just for you guys that are here, uh, nobody else, so it's just going to be you guys. This, this, this is just for you. It's called Advanced Technical Analysis Mastery Class, where we're going to talk about Fibonacci, uh, how to place targets for those stocks that are at all-time highs, how to play, place proper stops. Uh, we're going to talk about the most used moving averages and how to use them into your advantage. We're going to talk about pivot points, how to day trade, how to use them in day trading or swing trading. The whole number myth, okay, we're going to talk about that. And uh, also, this is for equities for Forex and for futures with plenty of examples for Forex charts, equities charts, and futures charts, day trading and swing trading as well. It'll help you uh, with your uh, defining your high odds entry, stops, and targets. It's definitely going to reduce the number of stop outs by 90% guaranteed uh, because you're going to know the critical levels in the market know how to speculate when institutional traders are getting ready to enter their trade. Like I said, it is great for any type of trader. It, it has technical elements that can be applied in any kind of market. And with this class, um, you get the on-demand recording, 130-page manual. You get all your questions answered and a limited access to email and phone if you have any questions later on after this class directly to me. And this class is now only $149. It's usually uh, $599 for the live class. Um, I only have 20 spots. I'm only going to offer 20 spots. Like I said, I have, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that I answer all, all of you guys' questions. So if you want to take advantage, uh, again, it's uh, tradeoutlaw.com slash now. Um, I'm going to try to answer some of your questions. And guys, email me, info at tradeoutlaw.com, all your questions if I don't get to answer uh, <laughs> um, Manny, how do I know if the stock is going to keep on going? I look to the left of the chart or I apply, uh, I apply Fibonacci either retracement or extensions to determine what the next target is going to be, if it has room to run. Uh, it is based on candlestick and pattern signals money. Um, uh, Don, uh, can you show current charts? The current charts was of Nike and CVX. Okay, you could go, Don, if you could please go on my Facebook page, it's facebook.com slash trade out loud. I, uh, I have all the charts there. Uh, the, the email was actually sent last week, and uh, I do have at least 14 charts, uh, 14 um, current charts there. Okay, um, Sam, you like Fibonacci's? I do too. Uh, Yes, Mark, I do use trail stops uh, to uh, get out of trades. Um, let's see. Yes, I, uh, Trudy, I sometimes use the 15-minute chart for my swing trading as well, especially in a very powerful market when the market has reached, uh, especially when the market has reached new highs. Um, um, I, I, I sell money. I sell only if, uh, uh, if, uh, my stop is met or my trail stop is met. Uh, it, it is definitely easier to swing trade than, uh, than, uh, than anything else. Arthur, you can visit the website at straightallaw.com um, and uh, go under coaching and you have all the prices there. 
remember the coaching coaching is not only you know for coaching uh, but it's also for live trading so you could use the class for one-on-one -on -one trading as well and the coaching is done live market hours with live charts and live trading i trade my own account uh it, when doing it and remember it is for forex it is for um equities and for uh futures as well so guys please i know i may not have answer to all your questions uh my time is up uh please email me at info at trade all that tradeoutloud.com and I'm more than happy to answer all your questions. Uh, for Carlos, the most important thing, if it, Carlos has an amazing question, I don't know if you guys can see all the questions, but say, hello, can you please tell me from your perspective for new traders, what is the most important key to be a successful trader? I love the question. Guys, the most important key is to apply the same risk on every single trade that you take. So if you decide to risk $100, you're going to risk $100 on each and every single trade until your account goes up at least 1% or 1.5%. And then you can up your, uh, up your um, risk to, let's say, $150 or $200. That is the most important uh, aspect of trading respect the market and whatever the market is doing but the most important key element is to always risk the same amount of money on each and every single trade thank you marvin <laughs>